Hi, I'm Zaxxon and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to identify a safe entry price in today's market. Are prices too high to enter today? This has been the most commonly asked question when I meet up with buyers or upgraders over the past months. It's true that prices are at its peak and I agree that we need to make our decisions wisely and most importantly, with a clear understanding of what we are buying into. What I'm going to share with you have helped many understand and be more assured in their property selection by following the method that I'm going to share with you shortly. Firstly, we need to understand the private residential price gap today. Let's zoom in to the RCR new launch, sub-sale and resale private condo average per square feet. From this chart, you can see that in RCR, the average per square feet of new launch is $2,222 per square feet. Sub-sale will be $1,918 per square feet and resale at $1,654 per square feet. These are the three numbers that you will need to jot down for the next comparison. Now, let's take new launch as an example. With this chart, I've pulled out data from a few new launches in Asia, namely Bartley View, Nomentum Park, Avenue South Residences, Ule Residences, Lilium, Gazania, Landmark, and One Per Bank. This comparison doesn't factor in the location and other selling points of the projects, but purely on price tag only. This light green box over here represents the overall average per square feet amongst this project. Using 2,222 per square feet average new launch per square feet in the RCR region as a reference, Bartley View and Nomentum Park are now transacting $300 to $400 per square feet lower than the RCR average. If you are looking for capital appreciation as one of your key considerations, entering the market $300 to $400 per square feet lower allows you to have the potential of profiting $300,000 to $400,000 if you are getting a 1,000 square feet unit, for example. Of course, we have seen previous undervalued properties profited even more in the past. The same method that I have shared also applies to sub-sale and resale properties. With this method, you will be able to have a safer position in the market. Why am I telling you this is because I've met many owners that have done their homework and made the right decision and that's why through real estate, they are on track and ahead of their planning. But I've also witnessed those who made the wrong ones. I believe if you are still watching this video, you are either a seller thinking if you should leverage on today's peak market to sell your property and make your next move or likely that you are looking to purchase your first property. Do look out for more videos like this as there are many more factors to look into besides this. If you wish to receive immediate consultation based on your current situation, feel free to call me or drop me a text and I will be connected with you shortly. I'm Zaxxon, see you soon.